What is up, boys? Uh, we have us a nice little box. Lots of parts here. Finally. So, um, also got this design. I bet y'all know what that is. I ordered some parts, like I said. They showed up quick, which is awesome. Matt likes that. He's impatient. So, what we're going to do is I finally dug the tripod out of the back of Ashley's car where it's been just floating back there for like at least a month. And I kept wondering where it was, and I finally remembered it's in the back of her car. So, I'm going to set y'all up on the tripod, and we're going to open all these boxes up, and I'm going to show y'all what we got. Alright, first one. Okay. It's fire stick. Most of y'all know what a fire stick is. This TV that we finally hung up in here is not a smart TV, which is why it got replaced in the house. So, we're going to make it smart with a fire stick so we can watch YouTube and whatever else out here in the garage. Next up. So, when I went to the junkyard and got a shifter assembly, first off, I got one out of a junkyard, so it's used. Who knows how many miles was on that truck? Probably a couple hundred thousand. So I'm sure the shifter was already sloppy to begin with, but when I broke the screw off, uh, I don't know if I have a clip of that to insert here, but I broke the screw and I ended up tack welding the uh, 2015 handle into the older shifter assembly. Anyways, when I did that, I think when I welded it, it got it a little bit too hot and like kind of cooked the rubber bushings. So like the shifter in the low country, like it is, it's really hard to get it from third to drive. Like it wants to go straight to neutral and I have bumped it in all the way into reverse on accident. Like that's how like sloppy the shifter is. So I got a new shifter assembly brand new so hopefully you know a brand new one will work good and then uh unfortunately the shifter is what comes with the screw not the assembly so might have to go to the hardware store and try to find a screw or something if the weld didn't fill the new handle to where i can't get it out I don't, we'll see but anyways that's all we got um, it's nothing too crazy. It's just basically like all this plastic in here and them older ones. It just gets wore smooth out. So, um, these screws look a little loose, so I'll probably check them, see if they're loose or not. But anyways, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I will do a how-to video on how to put that in. When I did it last time, I did see a couple people asked like, to be a little bit more in depth about it. And when I did it, I didn't really do it in great detail. So I'll probably do a how-to video on that one to install it. And then also probably, well, if I'm gonna make it a how-to style video, I'll go ahead and separate them. But I also uh, just went ahead and got a whole new wiper switch. So our hazard button has always been broke in that truck uh there was a sheetrock screw in there to like keep it and that falls out so when the uh screw falls out the hazards come on well that makes the blinkers not work and then it also i don't know if it's some wiring thing we did or if it's normal but it cuts off one of the headlights it's it's a fucked up deal but anyways James let me know, which I didn't know this whole deal was like this. I thought you just got this part of it. I didn't know that the harness came with it. So knowing that all this stuff's in this harness, uh, hopefully uh, 
between the new wiper switches, my wipers don't work, the hazard, which I need to replace anyways, and I guess your horn is also controlled off of this, and my horn doesn't work. So, kind of felt like a good idea, and this thing was like, I need to pull it up. I think it was a hundred and... A what? I think it was like a hundred and... 20 bucks or something like that yeah it's not much for 120 bucks but if your horn wipers or hazards slash lights are acting stupid could be this so we got that and then next thing up I got some LED lights um, I'm actually kind of surprised it all came in one box. That's usually weird. Usually it's like one box for one size and another box for the others. But it always amazes me like the length that people go through to like make these crazy boxes. Which I mean, I guess I'm glad because these are fragile, but. too bad I'm glad that these fans aren't as big as like you'll get some of those cheap LED lights and the fans on the back of them or the heat soak whatever you call them are like insanely huge to where you can't fit them in there and you don't know until you order it and get it but anyways so we got some LEDs that'll help fix our headlight problem of not being able to see shit because I do plan to drive this truck a lot and especially in the winter months when there's stupid daylight savings time I'll be driving to work in the dark and home from work in the dark so that should help that out along with I got headlights so I got the four piece set uh, I found Brock Auto Parts on Amazon um, these are the more factory style they're not clear they have the the i forget what this is called deflection or something like that but basically it's not a clear see-through lens it's like the true one which helps distribute light a little bit better um on top of this is supposed to be a certified oem part so i mean any any company joe blow can put certified gm manufacturer bottle they can put whatever the fuck they want on there but these seem pretty nice. Um, they weren't too terrible. I got the lowers and the uppers. Um, they're pretty fair price. Again, I can't remember exactly what, but I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing. And then we've got... And then we've got... The other part. Oh, that's sick, dude. They come with brand new bulbs. So if y'all aren't getting LEDs, dang, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. Good on you, Brox. All the parts seem pretty good. All the little flanges are nice. Plastic's not cheesy. Adjuster screw. That looks kind of wonky, but we'll see. Wonky slosh. Mirrors. So it's weird. I ordered these two things separately on Amazon and they came in one big box. The four piece headlights and the mirrors. But I got new mirrors. Um, no, I didn't get the slim ones. Me personally, I don't like the way the slim ones look. They just. To me, they don't belong. Like everything on an OBS is like so big and blocky, and then you have this like slim, rounded little mirror. To me, it looks weird, but it's on your truck. Good for you. That's your style. Ain't knocking it. Just not mine. So I went with regular factory mirrors. And the only reason I'm replacing my mirrors is because my passenger side one is like super has like a lot of play in it, and I'll adjust it, and then by the time you drive it like a mile, it like sinks to where you can't even use it so 
they give you the new rubber piece, which is cool, because a lot of times you don't get that, and yours is probably dry rotted and smoked. They give you new nuts. Because nine times out of 10, when you're replacing mirrors, you drop at least one of those nuts down the door panel. And nine times out of 10, you just ain't wanting to take the door panel off and dig that nut out. Woo! Okay, these are nice. They're actually painted black. Kind of scuffed from shipping a little bit. Not bad. Nice quality piece. It's painted black, gloss black. Seems decent. Anyways, so yeah, there's that. So basically, we just got a bunch of new shit. Um, didn't mean to flex on y'all like that, but it'd be happening. I bought like $300 worth of Amazon shit. So that's not a flex in my book. But. Anyways, yeah, so there's all my new stuff. Um, I'm gonna break up the wiper switch. What do they officially call it? Combination switch. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a how-to video on that by itself. I'll do a how-to video on the shifter assembly by itself, and then um, I don't know if anybody needs a how-to, but I'll probably just make another video of putting the headlights and mirrors on, putting the new bulbs in, and then, oh yeah, one more thing. And we got us a new grill. We're looking at it upside down right now because this is the top. Looks pretty good. It's got a decent little finish on it. You wouldn't need to paint it if you didn't want to. Um, and then it's chrome with the black middle. I don't like chrome, really. Um, I just don't care for chrome. So it's weird that I got a chrome one, but I did make sure that I got one with black inserts because the chrome part of this won't be chrome for very long, if you know what I'm saying. So, but I don't want to have to paint the inside black. So I got one that was already black on the inside, so I don't have to paint it. I can just tape it off. Smarter, not harder. But that's enough for show and tell. Y'all are probably done seeing me flex on my thousands of dollars worth of cool new shit. But today's mission is we're going to change our spark plugs. Oh, yeah. So James was like, listen, dude, I'm tired of seeing you stick your key on that damn ring. So there's this kit, which you can find on Amazon. It's like 70 bucks and it is smart. Like it, for one, it's got these nice fobs. If you've got electric doors, you can wire it up to lock and unlock your doors. Uh, it says trunk, but you could make this do whatever. You could wire this to your window switches to roll your windows down or whatever, which is what that was James's idea. And I was like, dude, because when I had my 370Z, that was my favorite thing about it. Because when, if you didn't know this and you're around somebody who has a 370Z or you have one, if you hold the unlock button, it will actually roll the windows down. You can't roll them back up, but it's kind of cool. Like in the summer, you know, your car is hot, you're walking out, or if you're fixing to leave in like five, 10 minutes, you go out, hold your unlock button, your windows roll down. So when you go out and get in your car, it's not baking hot. Anyways, so yeah. You can also apparently make it remote start, which, well, I don't know if this is the remote start one or not, but. Oh, yeah, you can make it remote start. So that's cool. Um, and then another thing was when I was opening this box, I saw the plug and I remembered I saw this module and that six pin plug, the big one, is the main wires that you have to uh, snip on your key switch, your ignition switch to make this work. Well, me and James looked at it and they're, they're like identical. So I'm gonna compare it to the one in, that I already have, but I think if I'm lucky and the pins are in the same positions, I can literally just unplug that other box and plug that same plug straight into this one and it'll work as far as the ignition switch side of things. And then it's got 
a very similar push button same three pin plug so i haven't looked at the one that's in there but i think they're the same and then this other harness i think this is for probably your remote start leads or something or maybe the window switches or shit i don't know but these are the antennas so you put one antenna like on the driver's side and then you put one on the passenger side and then basically um damn this is cool it's like an inclusive kit um basically by the time it's all said and done you have push start remote start and you can lock and unlock your doors and program it to do pretty much whatever the hell you want what we're gonna do to send this video home is we're gonna get them old nasty spark plugs out of there that have been on this really rich tune and all of our backfiring and all that when we were trying to figure out how to make it run so we're gonna put fresh plugs in it because i'm also not driving it again until we're getting tuned so which is scheduled so basically while it's parked i'm gonna put fresh plugs in it fresh wires on it of a full matching set and we'll send the video home with that. pretty dark on us well it doesn't look dark to the camera but it is dark um got all our plugs changed without any hiccups passenger side was definitely more of a biatch but um now that i have proper length plug wires i see that all these will probably be okay except for cylinder three it's kind of close to the header right here and then almost every single wire of the passenger side it's hard to tell is pretty much like right up against a header pipe so i'm gonna order those little spark plug boots so i'm not one of those guys who's bitching about his spark plug wires melting like every other day i'm gonna actually just go ahead and buy the boots and be done with it the first time so gotta order that i'm gonna order that when i go inside and edit this biatch up um other than that uh the plugs for sure indicate that we are rich um and not the kind that buys us more spark plugs we're the kind of rich that um, makes your cylinder rings not happy and your bearings but anyways uh that's about it remember those were the new plugs that were in when we had this coil pack harness backwards and it was backfiring through the intake and doing all that wild stuff so they got abused right off the bat and then we uh also had that really old gas in there still at that point so they just got super nasty well, we had some throwaways we put in and that's what it, the truck got started on and then i put some brake cleaner or b12 or something i can't remember what i had but i sprayed those off and got a scotch bright pad on them and cleaned them up decent but they weren't perfect and then of course this thing being rich has destroyed them again so we got fresh ones in there i'm going to order up the insulator boots so we don't fry our wires and then I tried to move the intake around a little bit. I don't think it's going to fit down here in its current configuration. Um, and then also where it's at, um, when I put my tubs in here that I'm going to make, this will actually probably most likely be above the tub. And then, and if it's not, I can 
kind of bump it up a little bit. It'll be above the tub, which will be cool because it can rest on something. And then I'll have those beauty panels right here. So it won't be the ugliest thing there ever was. And then that way my math sensor plug will still reach to here. And I'll probably clock this this way so the wire's like down here, like pointing down so you can't see the wire. But other than that, that's about it. Hope you guys are uh, semi looking forward to the next couple videos. We'll be making this baby look a lot better, especially up front. And then uh, we should be getting our tune. I think he got me on the books for two weeks from today or later next week or something. So in the next couple weeks we'll be tuned, but I'm gonna use that couple weeks to you know, I got fresh plugs and wires in. I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to use trailer fenders. I'm going to get those and fab those in here as tubs. Get that all situated. And then hopefully if I still have time and it's not a total pain in the butt, I'm going to do the ABS delete before we get the tune. But if the tune comes up before I get to that, it's okay because I've got, used to the squishy pedal and the few miles that i did drive it so i think i'll be all right either way so anyways thanks for tuning in guys if you want to help support the channel i have a lot of the skull hats still um not very many people ordered is what it is um so if you guys want to support the channel the main cool thing i have right now is the skull hats um got a few different colors a few different styles find something you like be sure to grab it and uh, yeah, help support the channel. Other than that, we got the new drop coming soon. Um, we ordered everything at work this week, so all our things will be coming in and we'll get them fixed up at work and get the new merch drop out to you guys, hopefully before Memorial Day, but we'll see. My, my goal is to do the drop before Memorial Day. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, remember, be human. Peace out, and we'll see you later.